Hi, this is Laura Whitmore with Acoustic Nation, and I'm here with Mike Dawes, and he's going to teach us a little technique lesson. A little technique something fun. lesson. Yeah, okay. Well, let's do something nice and um, nice and short and sweet to do with uh, harmonics. Okay. So uh, you know harmonics? You've experimented yeah, with sure. harmonics before. So we have typically uh, the the introductory stage in learning to play harmonics is uh, natural harmonics on the 12th, 7th and 5th fret. Now we're in dadgad tuning at the moment. Um, but uh, with uh, a lot of sort of extended finger style uh, techniques, you can incorporate harmonics with just one hand. Um, like this, you know, you could, for example, rather than using a finger on the 12th fret to mute the overtones and create the harmonic sound and picking, you can do all of that with one hand your first finger on the string and your thumb picking. Uh, that's a really, really useful tool because whilst we do this, our other hand is completely free to do whatever, you know, and pl play, play music, make, make a bass line, str strum chords or whatever. Um, and that brings me to another point. We don't need to necessarily strum with this hand, right? If we're uh, on the 12th fret, we would traditionally do this, but if we're here and we want this note to be our last note, for example, we can touch the harmonic point here and strum like this. Ooh. So strum by brushing your hand, your finger, over the strings. So let's just put our third finger on the fifth fret of the, of the bass string. Yeah. Great. And then we're going to use our first finger just to, just to touch all of the, uh, the 12th fret this notes. One? There this we go. One. You got it. <laughs> this is not my guitar. No. So we're not. We're not. We're not. We're not pressing down. Okay. We're just touching uh, the string on top of the actual fret itself. And then let's just. Oh, I didn't That's do it, it completely. That's it. Exactly. Now with practice, you can get a lot more definition <laughs> on it, like this, and you can do it on seven. That's nineteen, which is seven, but mm. with maths. So let's try that one. Let's do that again. Uh, fifth fret. Fifth fret. And then we're going to touch the 19th fret. Oh, 19th okay. fret. Does it sound? 19th fret. Oh, so we are going to be. Uh, two more. Here. Here. Whoop. Here? Yeah. There we go. Got it. Wow. Oh. It's cool, isn't it? Now, um, cool. I personally learned that from watching uh, videos of old Michael Hedges tunes. He does that quite a lot, and uh, and Pino is a big fan of that, the Italian guy on a month always. Finally, let's do let's do that, but with one hand. Okay. Okay. So we don't need to strum and fret with two different hands, right? Um, we can do it with just one. Now, I learned this from my old. I, I had a few. I had ten exactly ten guitar lessons with an amazing guitarist from the UK called Stuart Ryan. Uh, when I was studying at university in Bath, and he showed me that you could uh, you could rake harmonics with just one hand, which to me kind of completely blew my mind because uh, you can you know you have a completely free hand to do whatever you want while strumming an entire chord out of harmonics, which I just found fascinating. And he showed me that uh, you could do that by touching your let's use nineteen again. Okay. So there we go. So our, our index finger pad is on the string over the fret, and our second finger nail is is on the string, ready to pick it. Right. So we haven't picked it yet, but it's touching the string, ready to pick. Mm -hmm. And instead of just picking the one string as we would do, you know, as we did before, we move the entire hand completely vertically, Ooh. like that, in one swift motion. Okay. That's beautiful. It's a great sound. <laughs> and, and the really cool thing about this is you're not limited to the fretboard. You know, you can go anywhere. And I use this in quite a few compositions, actually. Um, I have a song called Somewhere Home, which uses this quite a lot. So do you want to give that a go? That, now, uh -huh. now, Laura won't have as much definition on <laughs> no. this because... No, the reason for this is because I have much bigger I, I nails. Laura doesn't have... Do I mean, it, it's great to have quite a bit of nail to do this to get that bright sound. I'll let you. I'll, I'll, I'll have to grow some nails. Okay. <laughs> you'll practice it later. Yes, of course. Okay. And also you can practice it the other way. You know, you can uh, start on string six and rest your second finger on the top of the string and then... Oh, that's cool too. Okay. 
And that's actually used in somebody that I used to know. There's a, a little rake like that to try and emulate a xylophone yeah. rake. So yeah, fun with harmonics. That's super cool. Thank you. Cool, thank you.